Welcome to another daily recap for Monday, October 30, 2023. You're looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between these two vertical dotted lines is Monday's activity in the spiders. And the three horizontal lines are the levels that were calculated before the market opened this morning. These daily levels are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures or ES. We'll take a look at how today's levels played out. There are many nuances to the strategy used to squeeze out points in ES, but we'll cover this at a high level without delving into the details. The spiders opened below this first level and came up into it quickly, but no trades in E-minis were triggered until after 9.45 a.m., so no short position taken here at 4.14.20. When the spiders hit it uh, quickly within three minutes of the market open, but when the spiders came up into the next level at 4.15.13, the ES was primed, to trigger a short trade, and that happened at the 948 candle and quickly produced a four point base hit a few minutes later. So, this first level uh, was closed out for the rest of the trading session, and the next level was when the spiders came back down into 414.20. Now, a long trade was triggered in the ES, and the next base hit was booked right here. So, this level was satisfied and off the table. So, the spiders hung out around and below these levels for the next several hours until. It wasn't until after 2.30 p.m. that the spider started to approach this next level of 4.16.08. And they spiked it, that level by one penny here at uh, 2.39 p.m., pulled back enough to produce another solid base hit. So this last trade was closed out well before the market closed for the day. So let's take a look at the tracking log to see how today's levels translated into profits. Here are the six levels that were calculated before the market opened this morning and the three that were highlighted are the ones we just looked at on the charts that produced points in the ES. So three base hits, which totaled for 12 points in the ES, and here are the profit potentials based on the number of ES contracts traded. So as always, I hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.